Time for weather. Steve Anderson, uh, you say it may, uh, the water we've been getting, the thunder showers, may subsist, subside this week? They may subside, they may go away subsist. even. Subsist. Yeah. <laughs> subsist a word, is that a word? Subsist? Sub subsidence, maybe? Check with Kathy. Kathy, the dictionary over there. Kathy will tell us As soon us as later. you get on, I'll check with her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's basically right. Whatever he said, okay? Um, meaning that the drier air is moving in from the west right now, and that could mean a decrease in the frequency of those thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening hours. Certainly, I've had a lot of them uh, over the weekend hours. Uh, yesterday was a much more active day than today today, but uh, we still have some things to look at out there. Right now outside, let's check it. The uh, temperature reading is 78 degrees. 84 was our official high today. The low this morning, nice, comfortable, 55 degrees. The relative humidity lower today by a tad, 30%. Wind is south at 13, the barometer rising at 30.07. And these are weather watchers are reporting in again today, and for the most part, 70s to the west, uh, 76 from Harold Parker and Genesee. Ernie Johnson and Frazier with 77, 65 degrees in Estes Park. And out on the plains, mainly 80. Some areas were a little warmer, though, uh, well, Boulder anyway, 91 degrees from Bernie Eglin in the north Boulder area. Out to the east, this is where the storms are heading now, but it's been warm out here, mainly mid and in some cases upper 80s today. The radar shows we have some showers in the vicinity. Yesterday, of course, the uh, Colorado Springs area was hit, Aurora but other areas didn't receive much. Today, the storm sort of started in two areas out here, branched out and moved in this direction. This area has really spread out. It was a little more intense than it is now, but still getting some rain. A couple isolated areas of heavier rain along I-76 and just to the south, probably north of Strasburg, and uh, more showers back into the foothills and more right in the Denver area as well. The satellite picture, a little different. Well, uh, excuse me, lightning strikes first. We'll take a look at that. We had basically in the afternoon hour 619 strikes today. Again, most of those in the mountains. Quite a few up here in the uh, northern Rockies, probably up in Rocky Mountain National Park as well, and uh, spreading out across the west. Just a few out on the eastern plains today. Now the satellite picture. This looks a little different than it did, say, a month ago when the drought was going on. It's still very dry here, and they've been getting some rain. It may be the beginning of the end of the drought because there's a lot of moisture in here. There is a severe thunderstorm watch on for a good portion of Michigan back into Indiana and Ohio. That's a trough of low pressure, and that's what's kicking these off. There's also a cold front coming through, bringing some cooler air into Iowa and Minnesota, which will start to cool off these hot places to the east. But still some record highs today, places like uh, Baltimore. Look at that, 100 degrees today. Buffalo up in the 90s and uh, Roanoke. They had a record high yesterday. Looks like another one there today. Uh, a lot of moisture here and uh, down through Texas, but as we get into Colorado, we're drying out just a bit. There's drier air moving in from the west. We'll start to see less shower and thunderstorm activity tomorrow and Tuesday here in eastern Colorado as well. Not as many clouds in the east, most of them in the mountains and west for Colorado today, but still a chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. We just probably won't see as many of them. That's for eastern Colorado, more up along the northern right Rockies around a low pressure system. This frontal system will bring that cooler air, but some heavy showers and thunderstorms along it and widely scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the Gulf Coast and southeast tomorrow back through Texas as well. And this pattern uh, shifting just a little bit, that cold front will mean that cooler 60s and 70s up into the north tomorrow. 80s will start to stretch way back over towards the Atlantic coast, just 90s for coastal states and down into Florida. 90s in the south as well, back to the southwest 90s and some 100s with 60s out across West Western Washington. Forecasting now for Colorado, western areas will have only isolated showers. That's part of that drying trend. Isolated means uh, less than scattered, and so highs 85 to 95 up in the mountains. Still scattered, but uh, widely scattered. Look for 70s as highs. And in the east, we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Highs mainly in the 80s, and it looks like a little warmer than today. Let's take a look at Denver's forecast. Tonight, scattered showers, thunderstorms, decreasing clouds late. 56 will be our low. Now, remember, we were at 84 today. Tomorrow, we're going to go with uh, a high of 89, so a little warm-up under mostly sunny skies, possibly some thunderstorms, and a low temperature of 58. What happens is... As we don't have as many showers and thunderstorms, we have clearer skies and we can start to warm up a little bit more. The drier air helps us warm up a little bit more, and that will be the case tomorrow and right on through the week. And I'll give you an extended forecast later, and we'll see evidence of that. Get that in about 20 minutes. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Okay, Kathy? just to clear up a little discrepancy, according to Webster's 7th edition, <laughs> subsist is a verb, and it means to have existence. So, yes, it is a word, but right. incorrect usage. Thank you. Thank you. Steve Anderson's back. First, it gets a little drier and then a little hotter. Yeah, showers and thunderstorms will subside and then they will subsist. 
Okay. You had words, to mention that. They, they may do both out they there. Give you extra time or something? <laughs> Let's move on. Take a look at it. Uh, what we're talking about is scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight. Decreasing clouds later, a low 56. What that basically means is that for tomorrow, they may subside. They may There may not be as many of them, but they may still subsist. They may still exist tomorrow. So they're possible. 89 the high, the low 58. And then looking way ahead, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we start a warm up. Look at these 90s coming back in showers and thunderstorms. They have a chance of getting in here each and every one of those days, but again, they'll probably subside. It's a hot July. Huh? Really? So far, we're cooking pretty good. There we are. Thanks, Steve.